Get in, Tony. You screw your face up and you look too gay because it looks like you're saving your smiles for someone else, eh? But you know what? You forget it. We're finished. I'm not your girlfriend anymore, okay? But you know what? I just don't understand it. You see good time when you looked at me and only me. You used to not be able to stop touching me and now for some strange reason you've completely changed. Well, let's turn this around for a second, eh? Let's say you found out that I was cheating by some heat of the moment that I went with someone else. When you start screaming at me and shouting at me and calling me a slut and a bitch and a whore, God, I know you would. Well, do you know what? I do feel like I've cheated. I feel dirty and sick. I feel just as disgusting as you. Because I used to feel like we were one. We felt the same feelings. Would well, you know what? You keep your cheating bed, okay? And you keep your cheating ways. And I hope you live a long and unhappy life because I'm off. There was a pressure against my whole side. Even though, like a warmth, I felt it. And then I heard a voice saying that, that everything was going to be okay that everybody in the family would be able to handle it. And when I opened my eyes, there was no one in the room. The realisation, it hits me like a 44 Magnum smashing into my skull. My heart starts beating with a quick dread and my blood freezes in my veins and my stomach starts doing backflips. The ordeal I'm about to face is one of the most chilling, terrifying, grisly experiences known a woman. Dating, or <laughs> dating again. Oh God, no, please don't make me do it. I'll be, I'll be kind from now on, I promise. I'll, I'll stop feeding the dog hash. I'll be kind, thoughtful, sober, God, anything. But please, not the ultimate torture of dating. I mean, that's why I stayed with him for so long, probably. I couldn't handle doing it all again. I mean, sure, he might be a trifle bit wild and, well, completely unattractive. But at least I knew I was gonna get late tonight. And maybe the next night. And at least I could go to the movies without somebody trying to hold my hand. Yeah, no. Hand holding? It's the most nerve wracking experience. Once I start holding his hand, I'm afraid to stop. What if I pull my hand away? Will he think I'm being cold or moody? What if I wiggle my fingers around in a sort of being suggestive sort of way? I mean, is that too forward? What if my hand gets clammy? God, a clammy hand is worse than bad breath. A clammy hand means I'm a lousy lay. Everybody knows that. And what, dear God, will I wear? My youngest out in Erin's with me. And when I got home, I realised that she wasn't with me. You know, I'd left her somewhere. And seeing as I had no idea where I'd been, I had no idea where I left her. So I spent the next few hours on the phone calling every single store I'd ever been to until finally the tile guy rang me. I'd left my number on one of the checks I'd written him. You know, I rewarded him, of course, but I never gone back to his store. My lowest point was 184 days ago when my little girl watched me chase aspirin down with vodka and then I hit her and when I passed out she was alone with me and she thought I was dead in all my life, I will never know what that did to her. But I have to forgive myself for that. I have to forgive myself for what I've done to my family. You know, it's amazing how much you can hate yourself for being low and weak. And my husband couldn't save me from that. So I turned it on him, I tried to empty it on him, but there was always more, you know? 
I told him that he made me feel small and worthless. But nobody makes you feel like that. You do that yourself. You know, I shut him out because I thought if he saw who I really was inside, then he wouldn't love me. I don't know why I do it. I just sort of takes it all away, you know? The deeper I go, the less pain I feel. I know that sounds stupid, but it's true. The more I do it, this time I need to worry about all the other shit that's going on. And more I need to worry about hiding these scars. No, I remember the first time I did it. So painful. But in a good way, you know. I just watched the blood flow down my arm, trickle through my fingers, and drip away. I know it's messed up. I know this isn't right. I'm going to explain all this to Mum. I can't keep blaming it on the cat every time I tell her I get scratches. God, she'll think that cat's got a death wish against me. It's not the cat that's got the death wish, Mum. It's me. <laughs>